We're going to talk about aircrete pumping. This has been a topic that comes up a lot lately in the aircrete community and people generally speaking want a pump that is durable and inexpensive and won't destroy the aircrete. And of course also you would want a pump that is easy to clean and my favorite is inexpensive. And spoiler alert, it's called a bilge pump. This pump can be had from walmart.com for under $100. It's made out of plastic, so it doesn't uh, corrode or interact with the concrete at all. The uh, plastic, uh, the rubber, all the rubber parts, the valves and the diaphragm are replaceable for like 30 bucks. So I use a regular pull hose, inch and a half, fits the uh, pump perfectly, little uh, clamp on it, and uh, Essentially, you get about a 35-foot hose for 50 bucks at Home Depot, so that works out nicely. Our test bed uh, consists of a half barrel and a hand bilge pump and a pull hose, which we'll be using to pump up approximately 13 feet to a one cubic foot box uh, form on the roof. Eighth, okay, I'm going to take some couple measurements on how much force it takes to pump this. Okay, now it's time to check out the pump. As you can see, it's designed so you can easily take it apart in case you have a, 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 a clog. Now what I've done here is I've already pre-loosened these a little, so it should be a little easier to take off. And it looks pretty clean inside, which I was expecting because it is just plastic and we did run a half a barrel of water through it. Okay, I've taken one side of the form off and as you can see here, it has subsided a little bit. Let's see. We're looking at about an inch, more or less, that it has collapsed. Okay, so now we have shown that you can uh, cheaply and effectively pump aircrete up to at least 13 feet, or 4 meters, with a handheld bilge pump. Um, it took about 60 strokes, averaging about 50 pounds of force on a one-foot lever to pump it up there, for those of you who like to do calculations. Um, and we also saw that it's quite easy to clean and I don't think I'd even bother to disassemble it anymore now that I know how clean it was. Uh, the, about, the only downside to it was there was a question as far as why did we have that collapse. We had about a one inch collapse out of 12. So that, 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 that's a collapse rate of about 8% which would not be abnormal at all for, for dish soap. Uh, quality aircrete, um, but we are using the uh, current aircrete standard, which is the Drexel 160, which normally has no uh, foam collapse. So we need to determine was it an artifact of pumping that caused that, or perhaps it was um, something else that we haven't taken into consideration. Um, but still, an 8% collapse, for me, would be acceptable. Um, but I'd still like to know what caused it. Now, what we'll do later, and I'll fill, I'll fill this in when we find out. Uh, later on, we're going to weigh it. When it dries out enough, uh, so it's nice and, and, and completely dry, we'll weigh it. And if it weighs uh, considerably more than it ought to, we'll know we were losing a lot of bubbles in the pumping process. So, stay tuned for that. But as far as uh, right now, now you know how to pump aircrete.